Hello, world of YouTube. This is your boy B2J135. Coming back as you again with another Pokemon Black 2Y2 Smoke on Wi Fi Battle. Got another UU for you guys for the tier week. We got some UU going on. I battled, I believe his name is. Bike, bike shoe, Baiju. I'm not sure. I think it's like Japanese, but I'm not sure. But anyway, we got a battle. So, you, you, yeah. <laughs> a lot of shit. <laughs> but um, let's see. Let me just try and do a quick evaluation from what I can remember. Uh, okay, I know for a fact that Victini is the uh, English event one with Fusion Bolt. I found out. <laughs> Uh, he's got a, the Eevee like Gligar, which is actually shiny like mine's. Uh, Machamp, I believe, is shiny as well. And I think it's female, which is just kind of cool. Uh, I almost called it Vibrova. Uh, Yen Mega, I have my, my nickname is Vibrova, just for the lols. Uh, Blastoise, which is also shiny, and Raikou. I think all of his whole team is shiny, actually. And uh, his Raikou, I think, is the event one. So, yep. And then on my side, we've got. Um, I think I used the set some time ago, but just so you guys remember, uh, Gligar. Uh, Blastoise, Sharpedo, Meloetta, because Meloetta needs more use, um, Cresselia, and Roserade. So, this is a pretty good set. I think I found this and then I made it up, or maybe I made it up and put it together with something. I can't remember. I have to look it up. But I think this is an original set of mine. But anyway, um, we have a good game, and a lot of ups and downs, but um, in the end, I believe it was real close, but I came out on top. But you'll see. Spoilers, sorry for ruining that. But I can't remember. I think I came out on top. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the battle. So, we got, um, we're on top of water. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. <laughs> um, even though it's uh, a girl avatar, it's uh, I'm fighting a dude, I believe. But uh, people like to do that. I don't know why, but that's just me. I'm just like, why would you do that? But whatever. I guess people like differences, but anyway, he starts off with Victini, goes into the U-turn, I go for the, um, Stealth Rock, of course. I think he predicted me, to, obviously, the Berlin and Gligar first to bring in the Stealth Rocks. So he goes for the U-turn, he's hitting, just to get damage on my Gligar, and I see his Gligar is also shiny, so I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. Um, and then I go for the Stealth Rock, of course, and then he goes for his Stealth Rocks, and I switch out, because I know he was going to go for his Stealth Rocks, so I was like, okay. You can do that, but I'm going to rapid spin them. So, uh, I think he switched out into his blast. Yeah, he switched out into his blast toys. And uh, he goes for the... No, he oh, he actually stays in and go for the toxic. Oh, okay. But I do indeed go for the roar. Yeah, I remember now. He did toxic to me, yeah. Uh, but I go for the rapid spin. No, I'm, I'm, I'm ahead of the video. Because <laughs> I saw it a second ago. But, okay. I do go for the rapid spin predicting him to switch but he doesn't switch now he switches but now i predict him to switch so i actually do go for the roar and he's like okay you we're just gonna play the same shit because we have the exact same pokemon i'm like no you're not about to rapid spin my stuff away you're gonna get roared <laughs> get out of here and hey, back comes victini but victini can get these rocks yes so victini we all know what it's about to do i know what it's about to do fusion bolt but in this case because it's not the Japanese one, and I believe only the Japanese one has Bolt Strike, I have to double check, but um, this one is the Fusion Bolt one, which is still pretty powerful. I mean, look at that. I love the animation. The, the power of animation is so good. Too. Oh, I love the power of the one. But anyway, um, look how much that does. Blast Twin actually took that like a champ with max HP anyway. If it wasn't max HP and it was Stealth Rock and Poison, he probably would have been dead, but the fact that he took it was pretty good. And then I almost took out Victini with that too, so I was like, oh man. Stealth Rock was definitely useful. <laughs> now, if Victini had been poisoned, he would have been done for, but um, I don't have Toxic Spikes on. I'm thinking about maybe adding Toxic. I might be able to do that. We'll see. But anyway, he switches out his Victini, and it's going to be dead the next time he brings it in, unless he spins it. And uh, I didn't predict him to switch. I actually go for the uh, Scald again, because I thought he would stay in and kill off my, um, my, um, my Plastoise. So that's why I stayed in. And by doing that, um, he thought I was going to live the poison. And it's already been three turns now, I believe, I've had poison. And at this point, it's up and around the 8x or the 16x worth of poison takeaway. So look at that. I'm not going to survive that. That's what I was hoping. He was like, oh, dang, I thought you would survive. Because he wants to stealth rock. I mean, he wants to rapid spin. But I brought in Meloetta to 
to get him to switch because I went for the Psychic because I thought he would switch into something that couldn't take a Psychic like his, uh, what you call it? But he actually stayed in because he didn't know what Meloetta does. I'm like, wait, you stayed in? I honestly thought you would switch out fearing the Thunderbolt. But he didn't. He stayed in. But now that I told him that, he was like, oh, well, I don't know what Meloetta does. And I'm like, ah, fucking shit. <laughs> well, I can set Stealth st st Rocks up again because I still have my, um, I still have, um, Gligar. I go for the Thunderbolt now because I thought he would actually stay in, but he actually does switch out into Rob Luki, which is, I guess is a One Piece character. I looked up the name. I was trying to find the guy's YouTube account, Baiju, I think is his name. I think that's the guy I'm fighting right here. I'm pretty sure, but I couldn't find it, so I was like, oh, fuck it. But anyway, he goes for the uh, Hidden Power Ice. I think he said he misclicked, or that's the wrong IV spread, or he didn't know what Melodus type is. But anyway, oh no, 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 he actually predicted me to switch out my Meloetta, but I stayed in because Meloetta can take hits in this form, and the other form it can't, so that's not a problem. So I decided to just, you know, do as much damage as I can with Meloetta. Psychics here, Psychics there, Psychics everywhere. Got the, um, I believe Meloetta is holding an Expert Belt because I don't see its damage going down anymore. But he finally brings in Yamega, and Yamega gets to stay in safely because I don't have rocks up. So at this point, I'm like, okay, Yamega... If you switch out, you're going to get hit by rocks, so I need to have these rocks up. He goes for the Bug Buzz, and I'm like, okay, I think I can take that. I probably can take it. Yeah, I can definitely take that because it's not very effective. And I was like, okay, now here's my chance. I'm going to go for the rocks, and next time you switch, you're going to be dead. He goes for the Air Slash. I'm like, okay, Eevee Light, I can take that. No problem. Wait, 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 no. I can't take it because it's a crit. He gets a lucky ass crit and rocks stay off the field. You lucky bastard. You got really lucky there, man. Cause I was about to set those rocks up and like, ah, oh, fuck you. <laughs> but I bring in Lunahime, which is um, um, Chris Elliott. He goes for the bug bus. Cause I'm like, this is the safest play I could do. Everything else is weak to this thing, and it's got all that speed. So I was like, okay, please live, please live, and it lives with one of I'm like, I think I can at least take one. I think I could. So um, he go, I go for the Thunder Wave, tripping a little bit. Luckily, he didn't do anything else. So I was like, yes, yes, I might be able to come back. <laughs> so um, at this point, I believe I do. I stay in? No, I go for the Moonlight. Do I go for the Moonlight? And he's like, okay, but I still have speed boost. Dude, you're paralyzed. You're not going to live. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to outspeed. Even a Cresselia, you're not going to outspeed it. So I actually go for the uh, Psychic, predicting him to switch out again into something that can't take it. Uh, he actually stays in. He was kind of surprised to see that he was outsped, though. But hey, um, I got to crit again. Oh, but uh, Cresselia did its main job. I definitely needed to, 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 to do that. If I couldn't have my rocks up, I have to get rid of Yamek because Yamek is a threat. <laughs> But at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to bring in um, Sharpedo and take it out now, so I can actually start setting up my um, my speed boosts. So uh, I go for the waterfall, the safe waterfall. I don't want to go for Hydro Pump or anything, so I go for the safe waterfall to take it out and uh, get the um, speed boost there. So now I'm going to be the one speed boosting all over your face. <laughs> uh, he brings in Macho, which is actually a pretty good play, but in the end, he also has no guard, so. I'm going to speed uh, get another speed boost just in case this Machamp is Scarfed, because Scarf Machamp is actually pretty good. So with two plus, plus two and maximum speed, I should be able to outspeed it now. And I go for the Hydro Pump, which of course isn't going to miss because it's a no-gar Machamp. And I want to see how much this does. So I was like, okay, I should be able to do a really good chunk. And that did do a hefty ass amount of damage. And I kind of predicted him to either do Substitute or Switch. So, or, or, or go for the dynamic punch. But he went for the sub, so I was like, okay, good, good, good. Now that you did that, I can safely switch out my Sharpedo, bring in something that can deal with um, Machamp, and I get to keep Sharpedo alive. So, right there, he made a bad play there. He should not have um, kept his, um, what do you call it? His, his, uh, uh, what is it called? His, his, he should not have subbed his Machamp. So, that was a lucky play for me, definitely. But by me bringing out Meloetta, and I forgot that Meloetta is neutral to, si uh, to fighting attacks because it's got normal. I forgot that. I don't know how I overlooked that, but um, I get confused, and I don't hit myself. And I was like, honestly, I thought I was going to hit myself, so I just went for the Relic Song and said, fuck it. <laughs> 
but uh, in inevitably that makes me faster and it kills his um, substitute. So now I can just do whatever, but um, he actually still outspeeds me. So I was kind of all sad about that. I was like, oh, he still outspeeds me, damn it. <laughs> so I'm not sure how fast his Machamp is. That was kind of strange. But um, I think that's actually more of a, a specially attacking. No, it might be. No, that's a mixed nature Meloet. I have to double check. But anyway, I go and bring in my Rose Ray, which actually does outspeed Machamp. And I go for the Sleep Powder because, once again, it's not going to miss because of no guard. So I love it. And then I was like, okay, it's my time to set up now. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing my BS. Uh, I go for the, uh, the Substitute and I uh, start uh, to do the nonsense. And he actually doesn't get the first turn wake up, so I was like, good, this is my chance to start start messing with him. And this is where I think the battle starts to get a bit, what do you call it, a bit uh, long and stally. I guess that's the words I'm looking for. So we're already uh, 11 minutes in. We only have a good uh, three more minutes or so, and the battle's almost over. But uh, I go for the Sludge Bomb because I don't have Giga Drain or anything. I didn't go for Leech Seed because... I thought that would be enough to actually kill Machamp, but it didn't, and I was like, wow, Machamp is actually kind of bulky, so, okay. And then I go for another one, because obviously I'm going to be hitting it and I'm faster than this, so I was like, you know what, let me just kill it. And then the crit happens there, and I'm like, well, I could have used a crit prior and wasted a turn, I mean, instead of having to go another turn, so thanks, game. This game hates me sometimes, I swear. <laughs> But then he brings in Victini, and I'm like, okay, Victini, you're going to obviously go for that. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to go for... Did I actually... You know what? I think I actually went for Leech Seed. No, I didn't go for Leech Seed. I think I actually went for the Sludge Bomb just to be safe. Did I go for the Sludge Bomb? I'm pretty sure I did. Let me just double check. Hold on. Did I go for Sludge Bomb? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Okay, just making sure. Because I was like, don't do something stupid, BJ. You've been messing up all day. So, to go for the safe sludge bomb would be the best chance. And that's actually what I did, too. I said to myself, don't mess up, BJ. Just go for the sludge bomb. Don't do anything stupid. And then he brings in his, uh, his Raikou. I almost said Lucario. His Raikou. And I thought I'd be faster than it, but I wasn't faster than it. And I really should have known I wasn't going to be faster than it. It's Raikou. Why would I be faster than that? But he goes for the Hidden Power Ice, and that's not going to kill me off. Because I was like, oh, man. Your Raikou's not very... IV'd right probably. <laughs> it might not have maximum special attack, but I was kind of surprised that I lived that. I was like, wow, your Ryko is not very strong. <laughs> so he was like, oh man, I don't have anything left really except I think, I think this is one of his last Pokemon. I think that's it after this. So I go for the Sleep Powder. Yeah, Gligar's his last Pokemon, actually, now I think about it, yep, so I go for the Sleep Powder, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just gonna end it off with bullshit, because it doesn't matter, this is your last Pokemon, I might as well just end it off with bullshit, so, um, I go for the, um, Leech Seed here, but I miss, and I was like, oh, man, and he gets the first turn wake up, so I was like, oh, shit, and then he goes for the Earthquake, I'm like, oh, man, that's gonna do a pretty hefty chunk, but this is still a Gligar we're talking about here, versus a Rose Raid, so I'm gonna survive it, obviously, because, you know, it's Gligar. It's a pre-evolution. Even though it's got Eevee Light, it's still a pre-evolution. you got to remember that. No, how, no matter how many IVs or EVs it has, it's still a pre-evo. And it doesn't have a whole bunch of attack power. So, me, I just want to be safe and go for the lead. See, um, this Earthquake is enough to kill me. So, I was like, okay, I can kill off this Gligar now with Jet. I think Jet might have been my second to last Pokemon. I think I had one more left. But I go for the Protect just to, you know, get the, um, get, get, get some health back from Leech Seed. So, just in case, just in case that Hydro Pump, if I didn't Protect, didn't kill it because it is Eviolited. But I do have Life Orb, so I didn't want to chance anything. So once again, me playing safe for once, something I normally don't do, and then I actually go for the higher trump. He's like, you better not miss. And I'm like, I won't miss, damn it. <laughs> and I didn't miss. And that is good game. Gligar is done one shot. That was a really good game, though, seriously. Um, I'm, if, if your name is, um, if your name is, uh, Baiju, dude, good game, man. That was a really good game. That's all I have to say. So... That is UU for Tier Week. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and we're gonna have some more. Don't worry. Um, in you, uh, I mean, excuse me. Are you is gonna be coming up pretty soon, and in you is gonna be this Friday. I think I'm gonna have two in you battles. One with um, 
uh, I believe his name is uh, I, ha I had him added because we had a really good game. We had a really good game. I believe his name is Pedro, or I, or it might have been Normal Champ. I think it was Normal Champ actually. Um, but that's a Skype name on, on small gun is something different. But anyway, I'm going off a tangent. Just prepare for more videos. Uh, Sonic's going to be up Saturday. I, if I don't, if I don't get a monotype tomorrow, Sonic, Sonic's going to be up Saturday or Sunday, the, uh, the final part. And then the bonus material will be up eventually that episode metal and uh, the special stages. So the bonus material will be up eventually. Okay. That's enough of me talking. Um, 15 minutes. I'm done. B2J135 signed in now. I will see you guys later. Deuces.